Steve here from Warrior One Studio. Just going to run through a lower body stretch. So what you may need for knees padding is just a spongy block or a pillow, a couple of bricks, and maybe a strap. And to start, we'll just come into a tabletop position, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And just to mobilize into the hips, we just take hip circles. So here, pressing the palms into the floor, trying to keep the belly and the chest parallel to the mat, so trying not to open through the torso. Here we're just going to lift the right knee, draw the right knee towards the right forearm, take the leg out wide, draw the heel towards the bum, and then draw the knee back towards the forearm. We'll just take five big circles. Just go slow and controlled. Taking the hip through the full range of motion. And then once we've done five in one direction, we'll go five in reverse, draw the heel towards the bum, take the leg out high and wide, draw the knee back towards the forearm, take it out, around and in, and we'll go three more. Last one. And then same on the left side. Draw the left knee towards the left forearm. Try to keep the chest parallel to the mat. Take the fire out. Draw the heel towards the bum. And back in for four. Three. Keep actively pressing into this right hand so the right side of the body doesn't dump down to the mat. Last one, draw it round and in. And then do that but in reverse. Heel towards the bum. Take the leg out wide. Heel to bum, leg out wide and around. Three, two, and one. And then from here, we'll just push up and back to downward facing dogs. So hands underneath the shoulders, push the floor away, roll over the toes. Exhale, push bum up and back. Doesn't matter if the heels come to the floor or not, just actively pressing the floor away. Trying to find length in low back. So feel like in the low back, your tailbone is drawing up and back. Actively pressing the floor away from you. And you can relax into the neck. Just look anywhere in between the feet and the thighs. And then just taking a few breaths here. We can just gently start to pedal the legs out. Bending into one leg, straightening into the other. And three leg dog, let's just raise the right leg up. So here, let's try to square the hips off. So we'll draw the left thigh bone up into the left hip and the right hip down. Press the chest towards the thighs and reach the right toes up and back. Coming into a low lunge, just stepping the right foot in between the hands. Soften the left knee down. And then inhale, just raise torso. So here, as we come up, trying to open into the left hip flexor. You can bring the hands to the thighs, or hands can just stay on the hips. Push the hips forwards. So here the right knee is going to come past the toes, and the left hip is actively pressing down. Sensation of tucking the pelvis under, drawing the belly button in, and breathe. Just breathing into the left hip. Hands can come to the thighs, press into the thighs. Inhale, lengthen through spine. Exhale, see so if you can sink a little bit deeper into this left hip. And then framing off the front foot with a hand, so just bringing the right hand outside of the right foot, left hand inside, walk the right foot a few inches forwards, and then send the weight of the hips over the left knee, coming into a half front split. So here my hips are sat over the left knee, the right thigh bone is drawing back into the right hip, the left hip is drawing forwards, trying to square the hips off, right toes pulling back towards you, just activating the right thigh, and then just breathe into the back of the right thigh. So you should be getting a stretch going on. If you're a bit tight in the hamstring, low body, you can grab a hold of bricks, literally put bricks underneath the shoulders, and you can be here instead. If you're more open in the hamstrings, fingers, hands can start to walk forwards. But you're trying to lengthen through the spine as you inhale. 
As you exhale, chest drawing forwards, fold over the front thigh. Then lower lunge, send the weight of the right knee back over the right ankle. Left hand underneath left shoulder. As you inhale, reach the right fingertips tall towards the ceiling. Push the floor away with the left hand, left shoulder away from left ear. And from here, just reaching back towards the left heel. Just maintaining openness through the torso. And then here, hip or the left hip even pressing towards the mat. We can draw the left heel towards the bum. Right hand can grab a hold of the left ankle and you're drawing the heel towards the glutes. If you're a bit tighter in the quads, in the hips, you might want to just bring a strap around the left foot. And you can be here instead, just drawing the heel towards your bum. If you're a bit more open in the hip, you can bring the forearm to the ground and you can be here instead. Wherever you are, you're actively pushing the left hip towards the mat, trying to open into the left quad, left hip flexor, and you're trying to maintain openness through the torso, low belly drawing away from right thigh. You can look over the right shoulder and just breathe in into the left thigh, the left quad. And gently release the left foot. Right hand inside of the right foot, just breathe into the hips. Still gently pressing the left hip forwards. And then from here, we'll just step the right foot back, back into downward facing dog. And three leg dog left side, we'll raise the left leg up. So here, trying to lengthen into the left or the right hamstring even, drawing the right thigh bone up into right hip and then drawing the left hip down, you'll feel a deeper stretch into the right hamstring. Push the chest towards the right thigh, push the floor away from you, then long lungs, just step in the left foot in between the hands, soften the right knee down, this is where I'm going to use a pillow because of my knee, and then just raise the torso up. Sink in the hips forwards, trying to bring the back of the left hamstring towards the back of the left calf, left knee going over the toes, and then just breathing into the right hip flexor. Pelvis is tucking under, belly button drawing in, and just breathing into the hips. With each exhale, just try to sink a little bit further forward, opening into the right hip flexor. Bringing hands to the mat, walking the left heel a few inches forwards, send the weight of the hips over the right knee. So your hips are just stacking over the knee, left thigh bone drawing back into left hip, right hip drawing forwards, and the left toes feel like they're pulling back towards you. Again, if you're tighter in hamstrings, back of your body, bricks underneath your hands, just underneath your shoulders, more open. Hands can walk forwards. As you inhale, low belly draws away from left thigh, lengthen through spine. Exhale, take it deeper. Sending the left knee back over, left ankle, right hand comes underneath right shoulder. Inhale to reach tall through left fingertips. As you exhale, reach left fingertips back towards the right heel. You can look over the left shoulder. And just breathe here, you don't even have to worry about bringing the heel up. Otherwise, drawing the right heel in, left hand grabs a hold of the right ankle. And you're just gently drawing the heel towards your bum just to get a stretch across the front of the thigh and then the right hip. And if you want to, you can bring the right forearm down. Or just stay here and just breathe into that right hip, right quad. Gently pressing the right hip towards the mat. right foot, left hand back inside the left foot, and then just gently breathe into the hips. Down dog, just sitting the right foot back. You can gently pedal out the legs again, or we'll just gently press both heels towards the floor, chest roaring towards the thighs. And coming into pigeon pose, you're now to raise the right leg. The exhale, we're just going to draw the right knee towards the right hand, right foot towards the left hand, or the left hip. 
just depends on the openness in your hip. Here, if your right bum cheek feels high up off the mat, you can bring a brick or block underneath the glute. That's just going to keep the hips square. You feel like this right thigh bone is drawing back into right hip, left hip is drawing towards the mat. Fingertips press into the floor. Inhale, lengthen through spine. As you exhale, the chest draws forwards to fold over the front shin. Forearms can come to the ground, hands can come underneath the head to support the head. And just breathe into the hips. When you find yourself relaxing into the pose, you can walk the forearms forwards, just allowing the chest to roll down. And just breathe in into the hips. Gently starting to move the hands back in. Moving any brick or block underneath the right bum cheek, come to sit on the right foot, left foot swings around, right foot comes to the inside of the left post, fire setting yourself up for Janu Shivshasana, head to knee pose. Here you can bring a spongy block underneath your bum if you're a bit tighter in the low back. And if you find that your knee rides up off the floor like mine does, you might just want to bring a brick or block underneath it to support it. And then here, Feel like the left toes are pulling back towards you, pressing through the left heel. Inhale, lengthen through spine. Exhale, fold over the front thigh. If you're a bit tighter in the hamstrings, strap. And then try to maintain length through the spine. Try not to round into your upper back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbows draw out to pull you in. So you're trying to not do this, just round into the upper back. It's just there. Long through spine, elbows draw out to pull you in. Okay, start to walk the hands back in towards you. Moving the bricks or blocks. From here, we'll just bring the left shin parallel to the front of the mat. Right leg, we'll take up and around, setting ourselves up for pigeon pose on the other side. This left shin can be parallel towards the front of the mat, but chances are if you're a bit tighter in the hips, you want to just bring the heel more in towards the hip. And then here, just squaring the hips off, feel like the left thigh bone draws back into the left hip, right hip draws forwards. Fingertips can be on the floor, inhale, lengthen through spine, exhale to fold over that front shin. Bring something underneath your forehead to support you, even if that's just your hands. And if you feel a bit more open, you can start to walk the forearms forwards, forehead can rest on the mat. Gently starting to walk the hands back in. Move any brick or block underneath the left bum cheek. Right leg swings around and front. Again, if you tighten low back, put that spongy block underneath your bum. If the knee's riding up, pop a brick or block underneath the knee. And then lengthen it through spine, right toes drawing back towards you, pressing through the right heel. A bit more open, you can reach up, fold over the fire. A bit tighter, just stay up tall, and gently walk hands in. Inhale to lengthen, shoulder blades draw towards each other, exhale to fold. Towards you, bring left foot out in front. And from here, soles of the feet flat on the floor, 
slowly as you can, lower down onto your back. Gently graze the back of the heels with your fingertips, press the forearms and the palm into the mat. Pubic bone draws up, low back pressing into the floor, one vertebra at a time, lift up into bridge pose. And here you can just keep the hands down, lifting the hips, so you can interlock fingertips and palms behind low back, reach knuckles away from you, then press the forearms into the floor, try to lift up as high as you can onto the shoulders. Keep lifting the hips, pressing the forearms down. Gently release the bone from behind your back. Lower all the way back down. Soles of the feet come towards each other, just to gently open into the hips. Palms face the ceiling. And here, you can just work on some breath work. <coughs> 